Kerala, a state situated on the tropical Malabar coast of southwestern India, is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. Named as one of the ten paradises of the world by National Geographic Traveler, Kerala is famous especially for its ecotourism initiatives and beautiful backwaters. Its unique culture and traditions, coupled with its varied demography, have made Kerala one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Growing at a rate of 13.31%, the tourism industry is a major contributor to the state's economy. Until the early 1980s, Kerala was a relatively unknown destination, with most tourism circuits concentrated around the north of the country. Aggressive marketing campaigns launched by the Kerala Tourism Development Corporation, the government agency that oversees tourism prospects of the state, laid the foundation for the growth of the tourism industry. In the decades that followed, Kerala tourism was able to transform itself into one of the niche holiday destinations in India. The tagline Kerala, God's Own Country was adopted in its tourism promotions and became a global superbrand. Kerala is regarded as one of the destinations with the highest brand recall. In 2010, Kerala attracted 660,000 foreign tourist arrivals. Kerala is a popular destination for both domestic as well as foreign tourists. Kerala is well known for its beaches, backwaters in Alapuja and Kolam, mountain ranges and wildlife sanctuaries. Other popular attractions in the state include the beaches at Kovalam, Mujapalangad, Bakal and Kapad, backwater tourism and lake resorts around Ashtamudi Lake, Kolam, hill stations and resorts at Munnar, Wayanad, Neliampathi, Vagaman and Panmudi, and national parks and wildlife sanctuaries at Wayanad, Periyar, Parambakulam, Silent Valley National Park and Aravakulam National Park. The Backwaters Region, an extensive network of interlocking rivers, lakes, and canals that center on Vembanad Lake, also see heavy tourist traffic. Heritage sites, such as the Padmanabhapuram Palace, Hill Palace, and Matancheri Palace, are also visited. To further promote tourism in Kerala, the Grand Kerala Shopping Festival was started by the Government of Kerala in 2007. Since then it has been held every year during the December to January period. The state's tourism agenda promotes ecologically sustained tourism, which focuses on the local culture, wilderness adventures, volunteering and personal growth of the local population. Efforts are taken to minimize the adverse effects of traditional tourism on the natural environment and enhance the cultural integrity of local people. The state has also made deep inroads into mice tourism mainly centered at Kochi. Historical context Since its incorporation as a state, Kerala's economy largely operated under welfare-based democratic socialist principles. This mode of development, though it resulted in a high human development index and standard of living among the people, led to an economic stagnation in the 1980s. This apparent paradox, high human development and low economic development, led to a large number of educated unemployed seeking jobs overseas, especially in the Gulf countries. Due to a large number of expatriates, many travel operators and agencies set up shop in the state to facilitate their travel needs. However, the trends soon reciprocated, with the travel agencies noticing the undermined potential of the state as a tourist destination. The first travel agency in Kerala, Kerala Travels, was founded by Kal G. V. Raja of the Travancore Royal Family along with P. G. C. Pillai. By 1986, tourism had gained an industry status. Kerala Tourism subsequently adopted the tagline God's Own Country in its advertisement campaigns. Aggressive promotion in print and electronic media was able to invite a sizable investment in the hospitality industry. By the early 2000s, tourism had grown into a full-fledged, multi-billion dollar industry in the state. The state was able to carve a niche for itself in the world tourism industry, thus becoming one of the places with the highest brand recall. In 2003, Kerala, a hitherto unknown tourism destination, became the fastest growing tourism destination in the world. Today, growing at a rate of 13.31%, Kerala is one of the most visited tourism destinations in India. Major attractions beaches flanked on the western coast by the Arabian Sea, Kerala has a long coastline of 580 kilometers, all of which is virtually dotted with sandy beaches. Kovalam Beach near Tiruvan and Tapuram was among the first beaches in Kerala to attract tourists. Rediscovered by backpackers and tan seekers in the 1960s and followed by hordes of hippies in the 1970s, Kovalam is today the most visited beaches in the state. Other popularly visited beaches in the state include those at Kapad, Alapuja, Korikode Beach, Marari Beach, Natika, Vadanapilly Beach, Cherai Beach, Panani Beach, Bikal, Kapad Baypur Beach, Marari Beach, Fort Kochi, and Varkala. The Mujapalangad Beach at Kanner is the only drive-in beach in India. Marari Beach was rated as one of the world's top five hammock beaches by the National Geographic Survey and has been cited in the international press. Payambalam Beach is one of the most beautiful beach in Kerala situated in Kanner. Other beaches in Kanner include Baby Beach, Menkanu Beach, Ajakode Beach, 
Madaipara Beach, Chudith Beach, Mermaid Beach. Backwaters The backwaters in Kerala are a chain of brackish lagoons and lakes lying parallel to the Arabian Sea coast. Houseboat or Ketavalam rides in the backwaters are a major tourist attraction. Backwater tourism is centered mostly around of Kerala like Alepi, Kumarakam, Ashtamudi Lake, Kolam, Panani, Kavayi backwaters, and Bikal. Boat races held during festival seasons are also a major tourist attraction in the backwater regions. The backwater network includes large lakes such as the Ashtamudi Lake, the largest among them, linked by 1,500 km of canals, both man-made and natural and fed by several rivers, and extending virtually the entire length of Kerala state. The backwaters were formed by the action of waves and shore currents creating low barrier islands across the mouths of the many rivers flowing down from the western Ghats range. Backwaters in Kerala for honeymoon and family holidays are quite popular. You may sort some of the best Kerala backwaters tour packages after reading about Kerala backwaters reviews available on various websites. Hill Station's eastern Kerala consists of land encroached upon by the western Ghats. The region thus includes high mountains, gorges, and deep-cut valleys. The wildest lands are covered with dense forests, while other regions lie under tea and coffee plantations or other forms of cultivation. The western Ghats rise on average to 1,500 meters elevation above sea level. Some of the popular hill stations in the region are Munnar, Vagaman, Pathalmala, Wayanad, Neliyampathi, Nalambar, Elipidika, Pyramid, Tekadi and Panmudi. Kurumbalakota Hill in Wayand is becoming a great tourist attraction now. Wildlife Most of Kerala, whose native habitat consists of wet evergreen rainforests at lower elevations and highland deciduous and semi-evergreen forests in the east, is subject to a humid tropical climate. However, significant variations in terrain and elevation have resulted in a land whose biodiversity registers as among the world's most significant. Most of Kerala's significantly biodiverse tracts of wilderness lie in the evergreen forests of its easternmost districts. Kerala also hosts two of the world's Ramsar Convention listed wetlands. Lake Sasthamkota and the Vembanad Coal Wetlands are noted as being wetlands of international importance. There are also numerous protected conservation areas, including 1,455.4 square kilometers of the vast Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. In turn, the forests play host to such major fauna as Asian elephant, Bengal tiger, leopard, Nilgiri tar, and grizzled giant squirrel. More remote preserves, including Silent Valley National Park in the Kandali Hills, harbor endangered species such as the lion-tailed macaque, Indian sloth bear or sinus or sinus, and gaur. More common species include Indian porcupine, chital, sambar, gray langur, flying squirrel, swamp lynx, boar, a variety of catarine old world monkey species, gray wolf, and common palm civet. Many reptiles, such as king cobra, viper, python, various turtles and crocodiles are to be found in Kerala, again, disproportionately in the east. Kerala's avifauna include endemics like the Sri Lanka frogmouth, oriental bay owl, large fugivores like the great hornbill and Indian great hornbill, as well as the more widespread birds such as peafowl, Indian cormorant, jungle and hill mina, oriental darter, black-hooded oriole, greater racket-tailed and black drongos, bulbul, species of kingfisher and woodpecker, jungle fowl, alexandrine parakeet, and assorted ducks and migratory birds. Additionally, freshwater fish such as kadu and brackishwater species such as chutachi also are native to Kerala's lakes and waterways. Historical monuments Historical monuments in Kerala include palaces, forts, and religious institutions. Notable forts include Bikal Fort, St. Angelo Fort, Arakadi Fort, Chandragiri Fort, Hosdurg Fort, Palakkad Fort, Thalasheri Fort, Fortaleza da Sao Tome, Fort Kochi, St. Thomas Fort, and Anchuthangu Fort. Notable palaces include Padmanabhapuram Palace, Kanakakunu Palace, Kaudiar Palace, Matancheri Palace, Arakal Palace, Shakthan Thampuran Palace etc. The Malabar coast is also home to some of the oldest temples, oldest mosques, oldest churches, and oldest synagogues in South Asia. The historic trading food streets in Kerala include the S. M. Street at Kori Code. Mapilla Bay Harbour at Kannur is home to both fort and palace. The Lasheri cuisine, a traditional style of cuisine originated in northern Kerala due to its historical trade relations, also attracts tourists. Events Festivals The major festival in Kerala is Onam. Kerala has a number of religious festivals. Thrissur Puram, Adakal Pingala, Bhima Pali Yaruz, and Chetakulingara Barani are the major temple festivals in Kerala. The Thrissur Puram is conducted at the Vatakumnathan Temple, Thrissur. The Chetakulingara Barani is another major attraction. The festival is conducted at the Chetakulingara Temple near Mavalikara. The Sivarathri is also an important festival in Kerala. This festival is mainly celebrated in Aluva Temple and Padanilam Parabrahma Temple. 
Padanilam Temple is situated in Alapuja district of Kerala, about 16 km from Mavalikara town. Parumala Perunal, Manarkadu Perunal are the major festivals of Christians. Muslims also have many important festivals. Annual festival Thiriyadam is conducted sacred groves and village shrine of the South Malabar region in Kerala. Thiriyadam is a vibrant ethnic performing art. It is an admixture of dance, drama, songs, instrumental music, facial and body makeup, satire, martial art and ritualistic function, composed in a harmonizing manner. Kochi Muziris BNL Kerala is also known for the many events conducted by the Ministry of Tourism for tourist attractions. Kochi Muziris BNL, the first BNL in India was conducted in Kochi from 12 December 2012 till 13 March 2013. The government contributed about 12 to 150 million on the event. An international core fest is conducted annually that is aimed at developing the core industry of Kerala and tourism. Ayurveda Arya Vedia Sala, Kadakal Medical Tourism, promoted by traditional systems of medicine like Ayurveda and Siddha, is widely popular in the state, and draws increasing numbers of tourists. A combination of many factors has led to the increase in popularity of medical tourism, high costs of healthcare in industrialized nations, ease and affordability of international travel, improving technology and standards of care. However, the rampant recent growth in this sector has made the government apprehensive. The government is now considering the introduction of a grading system that would grade hospitals and clinics, thus helping tourists in selecting one for their treatments. Culture Kerala's culture is mainly Hindu in origin, deriving from a greater Tamil heritage region known as Tamilikam. Later, Kerala's culture was elaborated on through centuries of contact with overseas cultures. Native performing arts include Kudiyattam, Kathakali, from Katha and Kali, and its offshoot Kerala Nadanam, Kuthu, Mohiniyattam, Thalal, Padayani, Thiriyattam, and Thayam. Other arts are more religion and tribal themed. These include Shivitu Nadakam, Apana, which combines dance, rhythmic hand clapping, and Ashal vocalizations. However, many of these art forms largely play to tourists or at youth festivals, and are not as popular among most ordinary Keralites, who look to more contemporary art and performance styles including those employing mimicry and parody. Additionally, a substantial Malayalam film industry effectively competes against both Bollywood and Hollywood. Several ancient ritualized arts are Keralite in origin. These include Kalari Payatu and Payatu. Among the world's oldest martial arts, oral tradition attributes Kalari Payatu's emergence to Parasarama. Other ritual arts include Thiriyadam, Thayam, Porakali and Kuthiyadam. Thiriyadam is a ritual performing folk art form of South Malabar region in Kerala. This vibrant art form blend of dance, music, theater, satire, facial and body painting, masking, martial art and ritualistic function. Thiriyadam is enacted in courtyards of Kavakal and village shrines. Kuthiyadam is a ritualistic symbolic representation of human Bali. Folklore exponents see this art form, with enchanting well-structured choreography and songs, as one among the rare Adi Dravida folklore traditions still preserved and practiced in central Kerala in accordance with the true tradition and environment. Typical to the Adi Dravida folk dances and songs, the movements and formations of dancers choreographed in Kuthiyatam are quick, peaks at a particular point and ends abruptly. The traditional songs also start in a stylish slow pace, then gain momentum and end abruptly. Kuthiyata Kalarises, run by Kuthiyata Ashans, train the group to perform the dances and songs. Normally, the training starts about 1-2 to two months before the season. Boys between 8 and 14 years are taught Kuthiyatam, a ritual dance in the house amidst a big social gathering before the portrait of the deity. Early in the morning on Barani, after the feast and other rituals, the boys whose bodies are coiled with silver wires, one end of which is tied around his neck and an areca nut fixed on the tip of a knife held high over his head, are taken in procession to the temple with the accompaniment of beating of drums, music, ornamental umbrellas, and other classical folk art forms, and richly caparisoned elephants. All through the way to the temple tender coconut water will be continually poured on his body. After the circumambulation the boys stands at a position facing the Sri Koval and begins to dance. This ceremony ends with dragging the coil pierced to the skin whereby a few drops of blood comes out. On this day just after midday the residents of the locality bring huge decorated effigies of Bhima Panchalia, Hanuman and extremely beautiful tall chariots in wheeled platforms, and after having darshan the parties take up their respective position in the paddy fields lying east of the temple. During the night, the image of Devi will be carried in procession to the effigies stationed in the paddy fields. On the next day these structures will be taken back. A big bazaar is also held at Chetakulangara as part of this festival. Kuthiyatam is the main Vazapadu of the Chetakulangara temple, Mavalikara. In respect of fine arts, the state has an abounding tradition of both ancient and contemporary art and artists. The traditional Kerala murals are found in ancient temples, churches and palaces across the state. 
These paintings, mostly dating to between the 9th to 12th centuries AD, display a distinct style, and a color code which is predominantly ochre and green. Like the rest of India, religious diversity is very prominent in Kerala. The principal religions are Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. Jainism, Judaism, Sikhism, and Buddhism have smaller followings. The state's historic ties with the rest of the world have resulted in the state having many famous temples, churches, and mosques notably eight of the world's oldest churches, from the 1st century CE, founded by Thomas the Apostle when he reached Indian shores, the first mosque of India, which existed even before the death of the Prophet Muhammad and the oldest active synagogue in the Commonwealth of Nations. Recognizing the potential of tourism in the diversity of religious faiths, related festivals and structures, the tourism department launched a pilgrimage tourism project. Major pilgrim tourism attractions include Gura Vire, Sabaramala, Malayator, Paradisi Synagogue, St. Mary's Foreign Church Kuravilingad built in 105 AD, Adakal Pingala, and Chetakulingara Barani.